Alright guys, if you come down here in the sewers to where you find those two uh, weight blocks and those two spiked Goombas, come down here past that guy and break this with your Ultra Hammer, you can get the final Super Blanc. And I'm going to power up Black Elaster. If you head up and east from there, you can come here to Koopa Village. Now, Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we did a lot of cooking, and by the end of it, I was so tired, I didn't want to come get that super block anymore. So, I finally did it today. And now that I've done it today, I'm actually coming here, and I'm talking to old Koopa Koo, I think his name is. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Pe folks call me Koopa Cooch. Say, might you do me a favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well, well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but perhaps just one little one? Could you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask Colorado's wife, she'd lend it. If it isn't a trouble, please go as soon as possible, you promise, young fella? You were supposed to start the side quest very early on in the game. I didn't want to. Colorado's not supposed to be here at this point, but you know, whatever. Oh, Mario, my husband came home, blah blah blah, I don't care. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the Elder. Mm -hmm. Koopa Legends. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course, you can borrow it. Honestly, I just didn't want to do this at this one at any point in the game up till now. Just uh, found it. You're talking about this book, right? It's all yours. It was behind the bookshelf. All right. The reason I don't want to do it is because honestly, it's not exactly fun most of the time. It's tedious. Very tedious. Great Gullipin Goombas, you're a lifesaver, Mario! This is just what I needed. <laughs> to show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. One coin. Okay. Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time! I'm gonna skip over all this text because it's gonna be confused. I've been sleeping poorly. I'd love a sleepy sheep to help get me catch a little shut eye. There should be a shop in Toadtown that sells them. If it isn't a bother, could you hurry up and get one? Alright, you promise, young fella. Yeah, so you're gonna be running from place to place in the world, grabbing him items and making him happy. He will, a lot of the time, only give you a single coin as a reward. It kind of sucks. And it kind of would have put me in a bad mood at other points in the game, especially considering the fact, the fact that I had low time at that point. Also, just one moment, something wrong with my audio. If you come in here with 10 coins, you can buy the Sleepy Sheep. Now, let's hope it's worth our while, because honestly, a lot of the time he'll ask you to buy him an item, and it'll be cost you like 10 coins, and he'll give you a single coin in return for it. This kind of sucks, because, you know, you're losing money. Luckily, I have a way to get like a few hundred coins easily, so it's not a problem for me. But for you guys playing earlier on in the game, I feel so sorry for you. So very, very sorry. Now that I don't need money anymore, I don't care about it, and that's why I'm doing this. Because, you know, it feels bad to lose money, but when I have this much, like, available money, aka I don't need money for anything, it's not a problem. Give him the sleepy sheep. My star, she'll have found out of all here, uh, Mario. Finally, some peace and quiet. How sweet dreams, here I come. <laughs> Take this as a small thank you. Oh, you don't have to be support. One coin. Do you know there's a play room in Toad Town? If I remember right, it used to be right around the station. It's strictly for members only, so the laundry is well hidden. I bet you could find it, though. Here's a silver credit. Only you play once you're inside the play room. Back in my heyday, I used to go there and make a lot of money. I got tired of the hoopla, so the silver credit's yours. Good luck, make some money. <laughs> and you get a silver credit. That's actually worth it. That's something I'll show a bit later. Oh, how very kind of you guys to that. Well then, young fellow, I don't usually ask for favors, but yes you do. I don't suppose you could go to Goomba Village and find um, Goomba the Grandfather. He still has a tape I him a while back. Could you get it for me? I really appreciate it. If you say the tape, you'll know what you're talking about. Try to keep this whole thing out of wraps, would you? You promise, young fellow? I forgot, I'm pretty sure... He wants us to get a porno. He wants to get us some freaking granny porn over here. This... Mmm, gross. Disgusting. No one wants granny porn in their life. Anyone. Not even the grannies. Or, well, I guess the grandpas, I would say. I don't... Unless you're into... Lesbians? I don't... I don't... I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Even out here with the... Uh, 
Hmm? Mario, it looks like there's something on your mind. Huh, what? Koopa said he wants the tape back? That old Koopa, he does remember things from so... How does he remember things from so long ago? Okay, just wait just a minute, he'll bring it out for you. He hit behind a chair, or under a chair. Here, this is it. When you see the old Koopa, give him my regards. A tape. What's that? He wants to know what's on the tape, do you? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't tell you at the moment. It was great, though. I am currently holding porn. And since he just said it's from a long time ago, that means it's probably not granny porn. Which means it's like the prime porn. And I'm just like, why am I handling old man's porn? Ugh. Give him the tape. Suffer and shy, guys. Mario, you're a great gent. Didn't Mark and the Goomba complain? <laughs> this is a gesture of my eternal gratitude. Oh, you don't have to be so polite? Yeah. Oh, well, very good. I got hankering for some Koopa teas. The various fit. The yeah, this is why I, uh. This is why I did this. No, I didn't forget. Okay, apparently I don't have the Koopa tea on me. I forgot it at the shop. I gave it to him to hold on to. So, I'm going to drag you guys with me over here. And we're just going to, you know, grab the tea from the shop. Because they're all connected. They all somehow know when I've deposited things from one shop to another. Even though I get here through uh, freaking pipes, so whatever. Alright, I'm going to need the Koopa tea. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't practice this at all, so if you guys notice me bumbling about a bit, that's what this is about. He tends to explain things fairly well, so it's not that much of an issue, but it's more the issue that I won't know what's coming, so I won't have any items prepared beforehand, so I'm gonna have to go out and find some. This means it kinda sucks. Koopa tea. Great girl and gold bits! Do defy comparison, Mario. I wonder if that hit, mm, hits the spot. You know, this tea is just as delicious ice as it is hot. You're a stand up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time we'll give you a special gift as thanks. Don't tell anyone, though. It's to keep a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fellow. Take this. And you got three star pieces. That make it a bit more worth it to his side quest now? Probably. And he has a lot more coming. Apparently, he has a reputation to keep as being a totally useless old fart. But, if you help him enough, he'll actually give you a real reward. Oh, what luck! Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad at all. I have a secret wish to get the great Luigi's autograph. He's your brother, right? That young fellow is truly super. Have you seen him jump? They should call him Air Luigi. Air Jordan. <laughs> if you could somehow get his autograph, I'd be really happy. If I could get my little brother's autograph. I don't know how that's possible. It's something yellow, Luigi. The pins of speech is still caught the blade in the sky. Come on, Mario, you're here, bro. You need to save her. Oh, what's that, Mario? You need something? Oh, he what? Mr. Cooper Coat wants to get my autograph. Me? He wants me to sign something. Whoa, cool. I'm flattered. I guess maybe a little bit of a celebrity, huh? Wait one second, I'll write it right now. I will say, Luigi is actually popular. Here you are, Mario, my autograph. Give my regards. My regards? My regards to Mr. Koopa Coot, eh? Okay? Apparently that's Luigi's signature. Everyone copy it and steal his mailing address. His mailing address. His bank account? That's what I meant to say. But yeah, Luigi actually does have a following in the Paper Mario series. You'll see more of that in the second game and... A slight? He gets like less popular in the third title, but to a degree. I guess. It's it's weird. It's really weird. I guess Bowser just has no memory of Luigi, but he does... Well, I guess most of the main characters don't have much of a memory of him, but all the side characters love him. I guess they are just have felt kinship with him or something? I don't know. But, you know, it's it's a thing. I guess all these side characters feel for Luigi being pushed off to the side, even though he's a legitimate character and actually in some way in some of the RPGs has better stats than Mario does. Hop and hum, my brother, as you're a wizard, Mario! <laughs> I have so many unique treasures, now what a lucky coop I am! Yeah, take this and know that I'm very grateful. Only one coin for that. I guess it is Luigi's signature, so it's not worth much. 
And the other day I went shopping at Koopa's shop in the village. But on the way home, I must have dropped my wallet on the road. Look for it, would ya? My memory's kind of sketchy, but I think I remember talking to the guy who went to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet is with me, then but after I, I got home, I, I'm hyperventilating. I should be finding my wallet. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, he just wants you to go find his wallet. It's here in town. It's not a problem. If you head all the way over here... All the way over here, I think? It's gonna get- it's gonna take me a moment to figure out where it is, but I know it's in one of the bushes in the town. That's a Koopa leaf, that's a coin, that's an empty wallet. So, now that you have the empty wallet, if you come all the way back here to Koopa Koot... Oh, thanks, Star Haven! You have saved me again, Mario! You seem to have a nose for finding things. Take this as thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so great, so modest? I don't know. If you find the time, I really do have a craving for a tasty tonic. Most shops sell it. It's my all time favorite drink. It really cures up the old bait and beak indeed. Fetch me a cold one. Would you? I'm parched over here. I have a. Yeah. So he just wants a tasty tonic. Honestly, I could bring him a berry to the. Uh, cook into tasty or something, cook it, or I can just buy it for a few coins at a shop. It doesn't matter to me either way, so I think Koopa Shop has it. I would be wrong. Oops. I'll meet you guys in a minute when I find a shop that has it, or I just make it. Poor and piranhas, you're like a psychic, Mario. This is exactly what I wanted. As a gesture of my gratitude and generosity, take this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite. One coin for a five coin item. I heard that through the grapevine that there's a beautiful fortune teller living at Shooting Star Summit. So, if you would, I would like you to hike up there and ask for an autograph. I'm too shy. Run along for me now. You can't barely wait. You promise to hurry? We have to go talk to more lovely. Up on Shooting Star Summit to get an autograph because this old perverted Koopa wants it for some reason. I really don't know what to say. Ah, my, my heart, welcome. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. Excuse me, you want my autograph? <laughs> my, my, mercy heart. Are you sure it's mine you want? You really do? Well, this is a first. What shall I do? Uh, of course, heart. I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph on one condition. A small favor. I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives back in, out, in the back alley of Dry Dry Outpost. Her ma name is Merle. Well, Mario, would you heart? Yeah, guys. Come up here to Shooting Star Summit, and now you have to go to Dry Dry Outpost. My older sister, my lovely. what she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I bet I know. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Please give this to my lovely with love from her sister, from her big sis, Merle. Also, since we are already here, how much is it going to cost? I'll do the ordinary course because I don't have the money for the special course. I might come... Actually, I don't think it really matters. I think the ordinary course will last the rest of the game. I think in this game it's just based on like a chapter or so. Maybe it affects the frequency? I don't remember. I think you'll find this power might get into your foes to cower. It will light your darkest hour. Even should you meet a beast, do not fear, not in the least. My spell makes a famine feast. See you then. <laughs> Please come again. Bye bye, my friend. I love Merle and Merle Lovely. They're just so cute and I love the rhyming thing. It's just. I find it to be adorable. I find the a lot of the characters in this game, male and female, both just to be adorable. Oh, mercy heart! I'll cherish- thank you, I'll cherish this. And for you, here's my autograph, as promised. It'll be a valuable someday. Now, if you drop back in here with the autograph in tow, and talk to Mr. Koopa Koot in here, give him the autograph. 
Jump and Jungle Fuzzies, you're peerless, Mario. My word, good gracious. Oh, oh my, what a beautiful handwriting heart. Be still, my heart. Uh, that is, this will be the heart of my collection. You're a stand-up guy for doing old Cooper so many favors. This time we'll give you a special gift of thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Here, yeah, take this. Three more star pieces. Newspaper would be the best way for me to catch up. No? Would you mind reading the Toad News Town? Da -da -da, you could. Then yeah, my eyes aren't so good. Don't spare my juicy goblins. Yeah, really. No, I didn't forget. Alright. So, what he wants us to do is he wants us to go to Toad Town, read the news board, and come back. He's. If you remember the side quest where Goompa was like, oh, what's this? A letter? Probably goose. Like, goosep. Gossip. Juicy gossip or something. Yeah. The Koopa Koo is the most gossipy Koopa, Koopa in the entire village. And honestly, it's not. He, he. The only reason anyone can say anything bad about him is because he wants them to. He wants to look like a crazy old fart just so people don't take him seriously and he gets out of doing things, probably. Toad Town News, Shiver City Sensations. I already read all that last episode, so it's not very important. I just need to come here, look at that, and come all the way back to him. Group and crazy days, you're pure class, Mario. Huh, so that's what's going on in the world. I'm not sure I could believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so, it's nice to catch up on the current lingo. I've had a hard time understanding youngsters lately. Now I'm hit. Why oh, don't you take this for helping me? Yeah, a single coin for that. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Also, the difference between the first time and the second time I did that, I read the back the second time. I'm kind of stupid for not doing that. Alright, I'm back. The reason I left is because, you know, I wanted to grab some things because I realized that it'd be smart if I just grabbed these items now. Well then, Sergeant, uh, I've been ailing a bit later. <laughs> I'd like you to get a life shroom, you know, to have on hand just in case of an emergency. I must have one, I must! Please, please, find one for me! You should be able to find one at select shops. Please hurry, I'm not feeling well at all. You promised to return? Yes, with the life shroom, even. And remember, you can make a life shroom for very cheap with a volt shroom and a goom nut. It's my suggestion. Oh, buy the musty shroom! You're a peach, Mario! I feel ten times better and twenty years younger! Maybe I'll go... go job. Job? Jog! After my nap. Here, I'll take this as thanks. Oh, you don't have to be so polite. You get one coin for it. As per usual. Have you been going to the playroom? I found this thing since the last time I saw you. Have a look, a gold credit. They gave me this at the playroom since I was such a frequent visitor. You can have it now. Good luck, make money. <laughs> yeah, that's another good thing about these requests. Oh, what luck. I do have the sudden craving for one of tasty, scrumptious nutty cakes. The secret ingredient is the goom nut, which grows on certain trees. If memory serves, which it doesn't always, you can find them so near someone's house. I don't know if that helps, but you still have to find what's so tasty you can bake the cake. I'm getting pretty famished, actually. Would you please hurry up? Promise? Uh, yes, right here. Bounce and bump arms! Are you a big one, Mario? Oh, oh, this is heavenly, my nutty for this cake. Here's a reward for you. Oh, you don't have to be so... One coin. Yeah. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, you have very kind of you. I must tell you, there's a quiet racket coming from next door. It's far too loud to say. You and Cooper are friends, no? Well, it's his house, and he should keep his guests from raising a ruckus. I can't sleep with all the noise. Can you go over there and complain for me? Just tell them to put a lid on it. Go as soon as you can. I'm at the end of my rope. Tell me when they quiet down. How I have your word? So, I'm gonna get Cooper out for this. It, it's either Cooper or Bombette you need for this one. I'm not sure. But if you head into here... You remember these guys? Please hurry up and beat Bowser, will you? Then my baby Bombette will come back to him. Oh, Bombette! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Okay, I'm gonna guess Bombette then. Oh, Bombette! Shut up, shut up, shut up! The neighbors are starting to complain about your noise. Quit your belly aching. Oh, Bombette! You be quiet now, it's no use yelling my name. I'm off on an adventure, doing very important things. I have enough to think about without your puppy love. Besides, you're not my type. I told you that before, so calm down before you blow a fuse. Bump it. Oh, don't. Oh, you made her angry. I feel bad for you, but man, you talk way too much. You need to play it cruel, or else she'll never like you at all. I'm sure she'll come around one of these days if you can just... Alright, and that stopped him from being so annoying. So I guess one thing 
one good thing came from this. Galvanting Groove, guys! You're the man, Mario! Absolutely amazing, stunning! Finally, some peace and quiet! Did those punks make a fuss? Now I can finally go back to sweet dreamland! <laughs> You're a stand-up guy for doing old Koopa so many favors! This time we'll give you some special gift! Don't tell anyone that you have a reputation to keep three star pieces. Cheap, a long time ago it used to be like you, and... I didn't skip any of that, by the way. It just did that on its own. And finally, hey, are you listening to me? Well, upshot is I really don't need any help, except, you know, all those booze living in Blue Mansion. Well, one of them has an old, a photo of me, so, well, I'd like you to ask them if they'd give it back. And if you don't mind, could you hurry up about it? You promise you'll go? Ex Which one? Cheap the nerve. Okay, apparently one of them has a photo, he's just not mentioning which one. I'm gonna guess it's either Bootler or the shopkeeper, I might be wrong though. 